I've torn my ACL, my anterior cruciate ligament in my knee, and I need surgery, otherwise I'm gonna get long-term knee problems and arthritis. So I've done videos, loads of videos and blog articles and various things in the past on ACLs, the anterior cruciate ligament, which is obviously a major ligament in their knee, causing stability in that knee. And um, basically we've spoken about the fact that, you know, surgery doesn't always need to be done. And um, some people debate this still to this day. You know, some people say if you're in high level sport, then you've got to have it done um, because you're just not going to have that stability. But other people make the argument about the fact that you can create uh, active stability and great function to the highest order without having a reconstruction. We've also discussed that the ACL being a ligament with good blood supply can actually heal. And uh, this has been shown in research too. There's in fact, there are uh, people who play high level sport with no ACL in their knee and no reconstruction done. So this shows you, you can get to full function. Now, the argument that some people would make is, ooh, but maybe they're playing, but then they're causing long-term damage. The joint is moving around more and that's causing more cartilage damage, more meniscal tearing over time. And that's gonna cause more arthritis. Now, what's interesting is the research that I'd seen previously had shown that basically, if you have an ACL um, rupture uh, tear, then whether you have surgery or not, you are more likely to have arthritis, osteoarthritis of your knee. Uh, and this is what the evidence has sort of said. But then I read some research more recently, which was quite interesting. And they were looking into, uh, you know, the effect of obviously whether you have surgery or not having surgery and actually what its effect truly is in regards to osteoarthritis of the knee. So here in 2021, Webster and Hewitt did a umbrella systematic review and meta-analysis where they were comparing surgical to non-surgical means of dealing with an ACL rupture. So there were 13 eligible reviews that they included in this, and they were looking at the prevalence of osteoarthritis uh, or risk factors of arthritis and any meta-analysis results. Now what they were finding is that when you have a reconstruction, they actually have to drill into the bones uh, which are on the joint line you know they're on the joint surfaces and uh, what they've actually found is that there may actually be an increased risk of osteoarthritis if you have a reconstruction so it, it could actually be detrimental now we've got to be careful with this sort of stuff because it's always hard to truly know there's so many variables that are involved in whether someone has arthritis or not genetics for example is a big role there and life involves a lot of different things in different people's environments but actually when you think about it logically drilling down into the into the um into the joint surfaces to create the anchors if you like for the reconstruction actually um you know does make sense that you could cause some potential problems there so there is an element of like sense with this as well but what did they find with regards to you know the risk anyway so with an acl rupture uh, just generally, there was between a seven and eight fold increase in the arthritis risk compared to people who hadn't actually had an ACL uh, rupture or tear. Now at 10 years after reconstruction, they found the surgical reconstruction group actually had a 36% incidence of osteoarthritis. Now this was at an odds ratio of 1.4 and this works out at 10% more incidence of osteoarthritis actually in the people who'd had the surgery versus the non-surgical group. So that's certainly a, a, an amount which you would classify as significant. So like I say, we have to obviously be careful with this just because there's so many variables at play. But if you look at this in the black and white of it, it does appear that there is probably a more elevated chance of osteoarthritis uh, if you have surgery versus non-surgery and therefore you've got to weigh this up in your decision making because you know again a lot of people like that quicker fix they like to have the short-term gain but then they've got to consider the long-term pain is there going to be something detrimental so if you can get to full function without a reconstruction and you do that with your rehab process so you would rehab it and we already know that if you do prehab before surgery you do very well for the surgery as well possibly better so you've got nothing to lose in trying to rehabilitate the uh, the acl rupture um, conservatively first and then if you get stuck in the mud you can't progress you know instability is rife whatever then you then maybe have to weigh up right I can't get what I need out of this so I need to then go to the surgical means to then go down that route and it is what it is whereas if you're making progress why would you go down the surgical route anyway and what about if there is an increased risk down the line 
I know for me personally, I would go down the conservative route every time. Um, and if it then become unstopped, then I would weigh up the options. And I think this is the way you've got to look at it. You've got to look at your individual case itself. So rehabbing it, then turn it into prehab because then you're going to have surgery is still good. And it's going to just accelerate that process. And obviously you, you're limited a little bit with your ACL reconstructions in terms of how quickly you can progress back to full sport. The limitations are lessened basically in terms of there's no graft to protect as you go forwards in your rehab if you don't actually have a reconstruction. So it's food for thought. Again, everyone's going to have their own opinions, but this is research. So obviously we have to look at the research and we have to put that into the body of evidence and work out what's going on and make decisions based on the individual. But it's more information which is interesting with regards ACL surgery versus not. And the evidence shows there may well be an increase in osteoarthritis 10 years down the line. Basically, it's worth considering, put it that way. Anyway, that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.